If you've heard of the Kangaroo Shepherd before, you probably already know that they're the bee's knees, right? Yep, they are known for their fiercely protective and incredibly loyal nature, after all. But if you haven't heard of these guys, then don't fret. Because today, we're going to give you the brilliant details on the pros and cons of having one of these furry beasts as your best bud. So get ready to hear some hot tips on what to expect before you decide to take the plunge and adopt one. Let's begin with the pros. Number 1. They are extremely powerful. Kangles aren't just your average Joe Schmo of dogs. These bad boys are indeed the Dwayne The Rock Johnsons of the canine universe. Why, you might want to ask. Well, because they've got some serious muscle power, of course. These canines have a legendary history of taking on bears and wolves to protect their flocks and families. Now talk about being a real-life superhero. They hold the record for the strongest bite force of all domestic dogs, with a jaw dropping 743 per square inch of force. Now, if you're wondering how impressive that is, it's over three times the bite force of a German Shepherd. Simply put, when it comes down to raw power, these guys are the undisputed leaders of the canine kingdom. Number 2. They are great guard dogs. You know what's better than having a regular guard dog? Having a Kangol, of course. These pups were bred to be protectors of livestock, and they take their job very seriously. They have a particular set of skills that they've acquired over a very long career. And I'll tell you what, their strength is just one of their many weapons. They're the CIA of the dog world, always on the lookout for potential threats. They have a sixth sense for danger, and they won't hesitate to act when they sense trouble brewing. Number 3. They can tolerate being alone. Now picture this, you're a lone ranger guarding your territory against predators with nothing but your wits and brawn to keep you going. Sounds like a pretty epic movie plot, right? Well, that's basically the life of a Kangol. Centuries of fending off predators have made these dogs fiercely independent. They're used to spending long hours alone, guarding their flock or territory without any human company. So if you're a busy bee or have a hectic schedule, a Kangol might just be what you need. Just make sure you still show them love and care when you can. Number 4. They are family friendly. While Kangols might be independent badasses, they are not total lone wolves. They love their humans and crave those snuggles just like the rest of other breeds. They bond warmly with their humans and love spending time together with you. And they're not just limited to one age group. They get along well with kids, adults, and even the elderly. But let's not forget, they're still powerful dogs. Think of them like the Incredible Hulk. Gentle when he needs to be, but can unleash a whole lot of fury when provoked. If you don't want any unintentional Hulk smashes, make sure you supervise their interactions with others. Number 5. Their amazing work ethic. Kangles are not just big ol' cuddle bugs. They're also hard workers who take their job very seriously. These dogs are not afraid to stand up against predators and will put their lives on the line to protect their flock or family. If you're in the market for a dog that can help you out on your farm or ranch, the Kangol might just be the perfect fit for you. But don't worry, even if you just want a loyal and loving companion, the Kangol has got you covered. However, that only holds true if you're able to account for some of the special commitments that come with owning a dog this big and powerful. So next, let's take a look at some of the cons of owning a Kangol. Number 1. Drooling Kangols are known to be pretty slobbery creatures. It's like having their own personal drool dispenser, and it's always set to high. If you're a neat freak, and the thought of wiping drool off your floors, walls, and furniture makes you break out in hives, then a Kangol might not be the right dog for you. But hey, if you're not too bothered by a little bit of extra cleaning and love the occasional slimy kisses, then go for it. Just make sure to keep an eye out for excessive drooling, as it could be a sign of health problem too. Number 2. Their size Get ready to make some room for your new furry giant, because Kangols are not your average sized pups. These guys can grow up to be 34 inches tall and weigh as much as 150 pounds. Now that's a lot of doggo to love, right? But let's be real, if you live in a shoebox sized apartment, a Kangol might not be the best choice for you. Sure, their size is great for making any intruder think twice, but they do need plenty of room to move around. So if you're thinking of adapting one of these guys, make sure you have enough space for them to stretch their paws and get their zoomies out. Number 3. They are difficult to train. Are you thinking about training your Kangol yourself? It's not going to be a walk in the park. These dogs have been guarding their flocks for centuries, so they're not exactly waiting for someone to come along and tell them what to do. They're independent thinkers, like a college professor who always has an opinion, and they won't hesitate to ignore your words if they think they have a better idea. But don't worry, with a little patience and positive reinforcement techniques, you can get them on board with the program. Just be prepared to put in the time and effort it takes to get there. Number 4. Their Potential for Aggression You might have heard that Kangols are fierce and aggressive dogs, but that's not true all the time. 
sure, they can be protective of their family and territory, but that doesn't mean they're gonna go around biting everything that moves. Aggression is not an inherent trait in this breed. It's all about how they're trained and socialized. With the right approach, you can teach your Kangal to be a calm and well-behaved companion. The thing is, owning a dog this big and protective is not for the faint-hearted. It takes a lot of work and dedication to make sure your dog can differentiate between a friend and a foe, so make sure you're up for the challenge. Number 5. They are not suited for first-time owners while there are some dog breeds that are great for first-time owners, the Kango Shepherd is definitely not one of them. These pups are just too big and powerful for most newbies to handle. The responsibility of training and socializing them can be a challenge for even experienced owners. But don't worry, we got you covered. Check out our video on the top 10 best dog breeds for first-time owners to get started. And who knows, maybe one day you'll be ready to take on the mighty Kango. Which of these traits do you think would make the Kango the perfect fit for your lifestyle? Let us know in the comments below. Subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.